Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. It is run by Joe, come and be his guest at the junction. Here's our lady MD, she's as pretty as can be at the junction. Petticoat Junction. are beating the heck out of the paid ends. Well, can I help? Yeah, I go back to bed. Steve. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've, I've bugged. I've been at it since 10 o'clock. Hey, what's the matter? Are you guys fighting? No, Bobby Joe, we're not fighting. Well, then what's the matter? It's personal, do you mind? No. Oh, I thought I heard voices. What's going on down there? They're having a fight. Bobby Joe. We are not having a fight. Have it your way. <laughs> How can a person get any sleep around here? What are you coming down for? As long as I'm awake, there wasn't no use wasting it. I'm going to check the icebox. <laughs> By the way, what are you fighting about? <laughs> I think we're holding a busybody's convention. I'm sorry. Forget it, everybody, will you? Let's just go to bed. Seems like a good idea to me. I think so, too. Might as well as the fight's over. <laughs> Come in, Steve. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, well, take it easy. Talk about it? Hmm? I said want to talk about it. What's to talk about? Beats worrying, doesn't it? Yeah. I guess it does at that. Well? No, it's just that business is going in a hole. But you've had all kinds of crop dusting jobs. You said it yourself. This has been your buggiest year. <laughs> I said that, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, I deserve whatever I'm getting. <laughs> what are you getting? I mean, how can your business be in the hole? It's simple. A lot of work, no pay. I don't get it. Well, half my accounts receivable are just that, receivable. They're not coming in. They're overdue. But that's not right if people owe you money. Well, we have to pay our bills. I know. When we buy milk from Ben Miller, we pay. Apples from Newt Kiley, we pay. My new dress for Mrs. War... Well, that doesn't have better in me. You get the point, don't you? 
Yeah, well, what do you suggest I do? Go out and hound them for it? Darn right. Well, honey, remember, these are your friends, friends of your family for years. Have you been holding back on account of that? Well... Oh, Steve, that shouldn't enter into it. Well, you did the work and you're entitled to the money. Besides, you've got responsibilities to us and to Kathy Jo. Okay, you convince me. Tomorrow we charge. My gallant knight. <laughs> Yeah, I better get going. This isn't going to be an easy day. Uh, you can handle it. Thanks. You're okay, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember, be firm. Don't worry. Well, who are you going to call on first? Oh, I thought I'd get on the Lewis's. Oh. <laughs> what, what's the matter? Nothing. Only... Only what? They have children. Betty Jo, I hate to break this to you, but a lot of people have children. I know, but couldn't you call on somebody else first? Okay, I'll go right on down the road to the Wilsons. Now what? Didn't Mr. Wilson have a lot of trouble with his bean field? Yeah, that's why he hired me. Now I want to get paid. Well, it's... It's just that I've known them all my life. Kathy Wilson was my best friend in high school. Rodney and I used to catch frogs together. Karen and I had a butterfly collection. All right, all right. You win. I won't even go down the road that way. I'll go that way. <sighs> Good. Okay. Not the Cliffords. Betty <laughs> <laughs> Joe, they don't even have children. I know, but they have kittens, and one of them ran away. <laughs> I'm sorry. Darling, this is your business, and you're the man, and you just go out and do what you have to do. Right. And Steve, hmm? remember, be firm. <laughs> I didn't get anything from the Andersons, or the Grangers, or the Yeagers, or the Hartleys. But when I got to old man Bryson's place... He's the man who owes you $300. His tractor broke down, and I loaned him $20. <laughs> crying out loud. See, I kind of wish you'd let me in on this collection business. It's no job for a kid. Thanks. I mean, it takes a certain knack. To collect bad debts, you got to be persuasive, clever, cunning. Mean. Underhanded. Mean. Underhanded. <laughs> oh, no. I'll handle this for you, and I'll really put the pressure on them. Oh, Joe, I don't want you giving these people a bad time. Besides, they're friends of ours. Relax. I'll turn on the old Carson charm. <laughs> Let's see your list of deadbeats. Anderson, $75. Becker, $60. Carson, $25. <laughs> that was for the fly rod that... Came collect from the mail order house, and you were a little short. I'll pay you the first of the month. Joe, yesterday was the first of the month. <laughs> oh, well, that'll work out good. That'll give me 30 days to come up with it. <laughs> problems. No, no big secret. But that's exactly what they are. Temporary. Well, I'd like to help. Well, of course. That's only natural. What do you plan to do? Cut down on your spending? That too, I guess. But mainly I was thinking that I'd like to help out with the family income. You mean get a job? What's wrong with that? Well, 
all nothing, except that well, you have a husband and a baby to take care of. Yeah, but if I could work everything in, what would you think of the idea then? Not much. I should have known. Well, it's all my fault. What do you mean? I should have gone to Bobby Joe for advice. She'll go along with anything. <laughs> well, look, I was only leveling with you. Hi. Why don't you ask Janet? I will. Ask me what? Janet, what would you think of my going out and getting a job? I wouldn't think much of it. Have you two been comparing notes? <laughs> Betty Joe, be sensible. At this point in your young life, your place is in the home. Besides, you have a baby to look after. Yeah, but that doesn't take all my time. I could take care of half a dozen babies and sit... Hey, thanks, you guys. You've just given me a terrific idea. What did we say? <laughs> I haven't the vaguest idea. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want to put an ad in The Guardian that says you're opening a day nursery for children at the Shady Rest? That's right. Well, what does Steve think about all this? Oh, I haven't told him yet, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't say anything. I'll tell him when the time is right. Oh, Betty Jo, if you put an ad in The Guardian that says something to the effect that Betty Jo Elliott is opening a day nursery at the Shady Rest Hotel, the odds are it might get back to Steve. <laughs> yeah, it is possible I might find out about it. Possible. How can I get around it? Well, you might do like them big city papers do. You don't give a name or address. You just say, inquire box 23 or some such number. And the reply is, go to the post office. Hey, that's a great idea. Do you have any box numbers? Uh, not up to now, I don't. But I think we can take care of it. <laughs> You are now box 46. <laughs> I don't feel a bit different. <laughs> it's incredible. I've had four answers to my ad already. Well, the World Guardian does get results. What does Steve think of all this? Just think. With $20 each, I'll have a pretty good income. I'll say. Terrific. <laughs> what does Steve think of all this? I thought I'd use our sewing alcove for a sort of combined nursery and schoolroom. And that little grassy plot out by the clothesline could be our playground, okay? Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. Well, that's fine, but what does Steve think of all this? <laughs> you asked that before. Yes, I did, but I didn't get an answer. <laughs> oh, Steve will think it's a wonderful idea. Oh, I'm practically sure. I hope. <laughs> In other words, you haven't mentioned it to him. You could say that, I suppose. Betty Jo. Yes? I think you're getting off on the wrong foot. Now, you should tell Steve all about this right now. Well, what do you think? I agree with Janet. I wasn't asking you. I was asking Bobby Jo. No, I agree with you. Don't tell him. Thanks, Bobby Jo. And when he finds out, wow, what fireworks. It'll really liven up the place around here. I think you'd be much happier if you had this whole thing right out in the open. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to turn off my autoclave. Maybe she's right. I'll tell Steve tonight while he's eating his corned beef and cabbage. Oh, we were planning on macaroni and cheese. <sighs> There's been a switch in the menu. Steve's favorite is corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> That's it. Soften him up for the kill. <laughs> I thought we'd get our old toys down from the attic. And... Bobby Joe, how was your tennis game today? I didn't play tennis today. <laughs> oh, I, I see you got the mail. Anything good? Yeah, if you're one of our creditors. They want to get paid. <laughs> good old Ernie. Ernie? Yeah, the guy I met in reserves. Remember we had dinner with him and his wife that night? Oh, sure. Ernie and Florence. Cutest couple you ever saw. How are they doing? Not too good. They almost split up. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, I can. Florence went out and got herself a job, and Ernie blew a fuse. Oh. I don't blame him either. I mean, what's a wife need with a job when she's got a house to run and a husband and baby to take care of? Well, back to macaroni and cheese. Betty Joe, Steve. Well, I got news for you. Uncle Joe, you look like you got some results. Well, I told you it took a knack. Well, how much did you collect? You know those yet, Burroughs? 
You got the jet? Sure did. Hey, that's great. He's owed me $125 for over a year. Did you get it all? Well, I didn't get the whole 125 bucks, but I did make a settlement with him. Well, at least some money is better than no money at all. How much did you get? Oh, well, it wasn't cash. Not in cash? <laughs> no, I've got it out here on the porch. A go? A hundred and twenty-five dollar go. <laughs> Joe, you flip completely? Now, don't get excited, Steve. You'll come out on the deal. How? You forget. Goat gives milk. I don't like goat's milk. How about the rest of you? I don't care for it. Me neither. Yuck. How about you? I hate to stop. <laughs> oh, that was a beaut of a deal you made, Joe. But, Steve, I can sell the milk to the people in the valley here. And the beautiful thing about a goat, it doesn't cost nothing to feed him. They'll eat almost anything. <laughs> yeah, like cushions on a chair. <laughs> same time. <laughs> Billy Joe? Yes? How are we fixed for diapers? Got a clean batch, just coming off the clothesline. Well, thank you, guys. I really appreciate the way you've been helping me out. Um, Especially with Kathy hey. Jill. It's fun. Besides, isn't this the most adorable baby you ever saw in your whole life? What's the matter? Oh, not counting Kathy Joe, of course. <laughs> you understand. Well, doggone, it's my own fault. Should have made the special on bread or something I could spell. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi, Joe. Seal. <laughs> Go get that goat out of here. Okay. First, I want you to see what you're getting. See what I'm getting? Yeah. I'm making a deal. I'm trading you that goat for a wheel of cheese, a carton of tuna, and six months supply of cigars. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> okay, forget the tuna. Make it the cheese and cigars. No. <laughs> okay, then I'll settle. No. Joe, look, if you want to trade something, why don't you check with Newt Kiley? Understand his heifers had a couple of calves this past week. Hey, that's an idea. Hello, sir. I get me, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Old lady Frisbee on the line. Yeah, that figures. She gets in more talking mileage a day than David and Chet. <laughs> hey, Sam. Get a load of this. I understand that things are going so badly for the young Elliot couple that Betty Jo had to open a nursery. Oh, the poor things. <gasps> That's terrible. Hey, cut that out. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> It's all your fault for bringing that four-legged garbage disposal in here in the first place. There's no need getting so excited. Well, why not? Nineteen cents. That's not such a hot special on cantaloupes anyway. <laughs> TV land. Oh, hi, Mrs. Hughes. How are you? Fine. How's little Herbie? Oh, he's just fine. He had a wonderful day here. We're very pleased with Betty Jo. Oh? Why? Why not? <laughs> oh, I wish those other mothers would hurry. Steve will be home any minute. I know, and then... Bobby Joe, well, you should have told him. I know, but I just couldn't find the right moment. Betty Joe? 
I think the moment just came. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Where is everybody? Uh-oh. Coming, dear. <laughs> Where were you? Uh, back there. I know you were back there. What's going on? Huh? Well, usually I get a nice kiss and a welcome home. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, why don't you go upstairs and take a nice long nap because you're probably tired. Why don't you tell me about Mrs. Hughes and little Herbie? Mrs. Hughes and little Herbie? Yeah, she said he had a wonderful day here. What was he doing here? Uh, he ran away from home. <laughs> Little Herbie ran away from home? All the way from Pixley? Yeah. Oh, you ought to see him crawl. Goes like crazy. <laughs> uh, I'll think of something else. <laughs> you do that. Where are you going? In the kitchen to get some help, do you mind? I'll get it for you. Don't be silly, I'm not helpless. your babies being put in the cabinet. What you don't understand is the shrewd thinking behind the whole thing. See, we're living in a day and age of journeys into space. It's only fitting that our children learn to accommodate themselves in the cramped quarters of a space capsule. <laughs> now, my grandniece, with rare foresight, was only preparing your... Oh, shut up. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm leaving here and I'm never coming back. <laughs> I thought I was going pretty good. <laughs> Look, would you all mind leaving? Not you. <laughs> now look, you know how I feel about working wise. You know what I've said about it. You know what I said as recently as yesterday. And yet now, you deliberately... Steve, what is it? She's... she's... Walking. Mm -hmm. You were saying? Uh... Forget it. Thanks. 
Now stay tuned for Green Acres, next on Nick at Night's TV Land.